afternoon, kids. Today we're going to learn all about germs, and we're going to meet Blue, who got sick because of germs. We're going to follow his footprints so that we can find out why he got sick, and also so we can help him get better. Blue, are you feeling sick today? Oh, we're really sorry that you're so sick, but we're going to help you. We're going to find out where Blue's clues are, and in each clue we're going to learn something new about germs so we can help him feel better. We are looking for Blue's clues. We are looking for Blue's clues. We are looking for Blue's clues, because it's really fun. Well, kids, we're looking for one of Blue's clues. Does anybody see it? Right, right there! Right there? No, I don't right see there! It. Oh, right there! There's Blue's clue! Huh, what do you think this is a clue of? A germ! A germ. Let's take a closer look at what germs are. All right, kids, time to sit down in our thinking chair and think, think, think. Because when we use our minds, we take a step at a time. We can do anything that we want to do. According to kidshealth.org, germs are microscopic organisms that cause disease. Does anybody know what microscopic means? Small! That's right, it means small. And that means that you really can't see germs, but they're everywhere around us. They can be in bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. Those are a couple types. But now we're going to follow more Blue's Clues to find out where germs are and how we can prevent them from spreading and keep ourselves healthy. We are looking for Blue's Clues. We are looking for Blue's Clues. We are looking for Blue's Because it's really fun. thinking chair and think, think, think. Because when we use our minds, we take a step at a time. We can do anything that we want to do. We just saw magenta playing outside and then eating a snack. Do you think this is how germs could be spread? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Some other ways that germs can be spread are by sneezing and coughing on different objects that other people touch, or things like not washing your hands after you get them dirty. So this is why it's so important to know how to prevent the spread of germs so that you can keep yourself healthy. Let's go take a look and try to find Blue's last paw print and see how we can help keep ourselves healthy. We are looking for Blue's Clues. We are looking for Blue's Clues. We are looking for Blue's Clues. Cause it's really fun. Can anybody help me find Blue's third clue? It's right there. Here it is. Here's Blue's third clue. It's on a soapbox and oh look, it's Blue's good friend Soap. Soap is washing her hands, which is a great way to prevent germs from being spread. She's doing a really good down in our thinking chairs and think, think, think. Because when we use our minds, we take a step at a time, we can do anything that we want to do. We just saw Blue's friend Soap washing her hands, which is a great way to keep yourself healthy and stop the spread of germs. You should always wash your hands after playing outside, after and before eating, and any other time where your hands might be dirty and cause an infection or cause you to get sick. 
A couple other ways that you can keep yourselves healthy is by getting a lot of sleep, taking your vitamins, like Blue has right here, and having good nutrition. This means eating healthy. All of these things help to build your immune system. Your immune system is what helps you fight disease and helps keep your body healthy. These are all very important to stop the spread of germs so you can have a healthy lifestyle. Blue, are you feeling better? Did you learn a lot today about how you can keep yourself healthy to prevent germs from spreading? Good. Now maybe next time, Blue will know a little bit more about how to keep himself healthy. Kids, thanks for joining us today. I hope you all learned about what germs are, how they spread, and how you can keep yourself healthy from now on. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.